Congratulations, you've now finished all the lectures in Denial 101X. The lectures in week six were based on an important principle, the need for a scientific, evidence-based approach to how we respond to science denial. We saw that while a number of people denying global warming is small, they have a disproportionately large influence on the rest of the public. We saw how presenting evidence to those who reject scientific evidence is ineffective or can even backfire. We looked at psychological research into inoculation theory, educational research into misconception-based learning, and the cognitive psychology of debunking. These three lines of research all find that there are two essential elements of debunking myths. First, the golden rule of debunking is to fight sticky myths with even stickier facts. We need to explain our science simply in a compelling way. The acronym SUCCESS is a useful checklist for making sure your science is sticky. Second, we need to explain how the myth is wrong. This involves explaining the technique or fallacy used to distort the science. The acronym FLIC it provides a useful framework for explaining the characteristics of denial. Putting all this together, an effective debunking needs three elements. The facts, the myth, and the fallacy used by the myth. If you want examples of this type of debunking, go no further than this MOOC. All our lectures at Debunk Myths from weeks 1 to 5 adopt the fact-myth-fallacy format. The approach of our MOOC was based on the psychological and educational research described in week 6. Taking a step back, the broader structure of our MOOC also takes this approach. To understand a myth, you need both the science and how the science is distorted. Similarly, to understand why climate change is a political controversy, you need two things. First, you need to understand that there isn't a scientific controversy. 97% of climate scientists agree that humans are causing global warming. Second, you need to understand how and why people reject the scientific consensus. Why? The major driver of climate science denial is people's worldview or political ideology. How? Confirmation bias leads people to reject threatening evidence and accept friendly evidence. It's important that Denial 101X provides this big picture overview of the social and political controversy around climate change. Debunking individual myths is important, but it's even more important not to miss the forest because of all the trees. Understanding the overall picture gives you the framework that helps make sense of all the different myths. So we hope that you found Denial 101X informative, thought-provoking and practical. We especially hope you feel confident that you now have the tools to respond to climate myths. And you now have the opportunity to test your newly acquired knowledge. Our final assignment over weeks 6 and 7 will have you debunking climate misinformation off the web. We look forward to your submission.